So in my first video we created this um, app, okay, going like with name, email and a send button, following basically what the documentation of Kiwi was explaining. But I came into this little problem that I wanted to cover, which was annoying me, is how do I center that button, right, in into Kinter or other apps. You could just put a, a column span of the button to two, and meaning that the button would take two um, two spots, okay, it would be two spots wide in the grid, but you cannot do that here. And I found a solution thanks to the big boy uh, Tech with Team, uh, who has a great video about that, so just like watch it, it's gonna be in the description below. Uh, but I'll share here anyway because, uh, I mean, the point is for me to learn and to uh, rephrase it myself. So basically what you're gonna do is that you will have your app here, um, okay, and you're gonna have a grid, right? But this grid inside your app can have two columns and not one, and so your uh, your image is going to be like this, or your button is going to be like this if you have two columns, okay? You cannot put it in the middle here. You can you can put it here or there, but that's all. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna create within your first grid another grid. So first hand you have a grid with one column and within that grid you're going to create a second grid with two columns. What does that mean? Well if I create here a grid with two columns like so I'm going to have this and I can have any kind of widgets in here but when I'm out of that second grid, I go back into the main grid, which is just one column, and any widget I put here is going to take the whole space. This is basically what he's explaining with basically the same uh, drawings, but well, here we are. Um, <laughs> and so let's do this here, and I want to do it by br bringing up some images in there. So let's do a KV dot uix dot image import image and we're gonna make it here so we said it we want one column and we're gonna do a self dot add widget image uh, I think it's source equal and then it's gonna be bravo dot png my image okay so this is how we're going now and this is what it looks like here Okay, so that's what we have right now. Just things going like this. If I go two columns, it's gonna go like that, and I obviously don't want that. It's pretty weird. And so this is where we're going to create our second layer, our second grid. And how do we do that? Well, after Bravo, which is gonna be the welcoming image that's gonna be centered, we're gonna create a self.subgrid. I call it, which is going to be equal to another grid layout, another instance of a grid layout, okay? So within our login screen, we are instantiating all those things, and within those things, there's a grid layout. And so let's separate this here, okay? What does that mean? Well, now, everything we want to put in that subgrid is going to be called self.subgrid.something. And so we're going to say self.subgrid.calls equals 2. And so here self.calls equal 1. So now we're going, to, um, we're going to interact with this subgrid with this self.subgrid call, meaning that everything happening with this self.subgrid doesn't affect whatever is in our main object self. So now, the name is going to be part of subgrid. Okay, and then we're going to do this everywhere. Here, here, here. But we're not going to do it for our send button. There, that is going to be part of our normal grid. And basically, uh, this is not working. So what did I do wrong? Um, uh, so I went back into reading what I did and I just forgot something very simple. Uh, 
obviously. I created, okay, a grid in my login screen, which is one column. I added an image which is going to be centered in that one column grid. Then I created a subgrid, which is going to have two columns, and I added multiple widgets using the subgrid object. But I never placed that subgrid in my app. I never said self.add widget self.subgrid. So this is what I forgot here. Now this is placed, okay, this is placed between my image, which is the app, the add widget here, and my send button, which is the add widget here. And so if I run it, I get my welcome image of Joni saying hello, centered, my button, centered, and my two columns. Apparently this is something you're going to see a lot in KV. It is um, creating sub-objects in order to uh, shape your app, even if it's for padding purposes, to create like different uh, sectors and, and spots in your app. Uh, you're gonna have to do that. What's nice is that at least it's always staying pretty uh, organized and it reshapes pretty well. So that's all I wanted to see in this video. I took a little bit to uh, find this and a lot of explanations came out and Tech with Tim's video was generally the best I found. Uh, the, to begin with, the video is not about that specifically, but this little tip just made me understand so many things. So just like check him out. I, obviously, he's really big. You must know him already, but well, uh, he's taught me a lot. So yeah, uh, cheers. See you later.